Welcome back to Educator.com's Advanced English Grammar course. This lesson is on forming plurals. Let's get started. All right. We begin, as always, with a brief lesson overview. We're going to talk about five rules for forming plurals in the English language, which is an area where a lot of people run into spelling problems. Then we're going to look at how to form plurals for foreign words that English has imported. English kind of tends to follow other languages down a dark alley, hit them over the head, and go through their pockets for loose vocabulary. So we end up with some pretty strange words that don't form plurals according to the usual English rules. Then we're going to do some practice at forming plurals, and then we're going to look at some tips to improve your spelling. All right, here are the five main rules for English plurals. First, add an S to most words. So chair becomes chairs, monkey becomes monkeys, and rodeo becomes rodeos. This is how it normally works. Here come all the exceptions. Add an ES to words ending in X, S, SH, or CH. Basically, if it goes S or CH or CH, you want to add an ES on the on the end because otherwise you just end up going and you sound like a balloon with a hole in it. So you add ES, add an extra syllable. So iris becomes irises because iris just sounds weird. Church becomes churches because ch -ch -ch sounds weird and you sound like a demented B. Fox becomes foxes because fox sounds weird. And dish becomes dishes. Well, you get the idea. Rule three, when a word ends in a consonant plus Y, change the Y to an IE and add S. So B-A-B-Y, baby, becomes babies. Enemy becomes enemies. Discrepancy becomes discrepancies. All right, rule four, add ES to nouns ending in a long O. That's a letter O that makes an O sound as opposed to AW ah or something else. So if it ends in an O sound with the letter O, uh, if the long O is preceded by a consonant other than cases of with musical terms and some loan words, then you add an ES to the end. So, for example, embargo becomes embargoes because you've got a consonant and then you've got a long O. Tomato becomes tomatoes or tomatoes if you're British. Hero becomes heroes. Mosquito becomes mosquitoes. Domino becomes dominoes. And potato becomes potatoes. But you look at some musical terms, most of which are loan words from Italian. You have pianos, sopranos, and solos, none of which get the E. And you have some loan words such as burritos, burritos from Spanish, doesn't get the E. And kimonos from Japanese also doesn't get the E because it's a loan word. Rule number five, for many words ending in F or F-E, many, not all, change the F or the F-E to V and add S or E-S. So calf becomes calves, elf becomes elves, knife becomes knives, leaf becomes leaves, life becomes lives, loaf becomes loaves, thief becomes thieves, wife becomes wives, and wolf becomes wolves. Very common construction in English, but it doesn't apply to everything, so keep an eye out.